Theologians have different views as to how this question should be answered. The following is a well-accepted explanation. In Luke chapter 16 verses 22 to 26, we see that Hades the equivalent of show in the Old Testament is divided into two separate realms. Hell, where the unrighteous go after death, and paradise or Abraham's bosom, the place of rest for the righteous. The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's aside. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called him, Father Abraham, have pity on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while well, Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. The two realms together comprised Hades. Though they were separated by a great chasm or gulf that could not be bridged by inhabitants of either side, Christ descended into the paradise compartment of Hades when he died. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. And when the thief on the cross died he went there too. Thus, the thief was with Christ that day in paradise, yet Christ had not yet ascended into heaven. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. When Christ did ascend into heaven, he took the rest of the inhabitants of paradise, which were all the Old Testament saints with him including the thief on the cross. This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? So, there is no contradiction between Luke chapter 23 verse 43 and John chapter 20 verse 17.